What's up, everybody? We're back in the garage with the Honda Shadow Phantom. Let's get some light in here. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Uh, this is the 2010 Shadow Phantom. I've had this bike for almost a year now. Uh, but right now, I think I'm having a fueling issue. So we are going to tear the bike down and hopefully clean out the gas tank and any other issues within you know, that fueling system so it'll break open the fuel pump and everything. So the first thing we got to do is get the seat off, which is only uh, three bolts and, well, two screws and a bolt, I guess. So I'm going to grab me a parts tray, a screwdriver. Uh, what I've been doing is I've been riding this bike till the fuel light came on. Maybe we'll see if it'll start up. Got low fuel. It's just running really rough. And when it is like warmed up and everything, uh, the bike it just doesn't have a lot of power or anything like that. Which is why I think that it is a fueling issue. And it's also, we've had the fueling issue before. Um, this bike sat for several years before I got it with fuel in the tank. All right, I'm gonna start throwing parts over here. Now I've got the access to the fuel pump right there we've got a 12 millimeter and then let's see to get the gas tank off it's a 12 mil and then there are these little allen keys up here i'm going to move the camera so you guys can see we will start i think what i want to do first is take these guys off I saw where it went. It's been a long time out here cleaning. Ow, shh. Okay. So now that that's free, I should be able to lift this guy off and kind of move it to the side. Ugh. It is dirty in there. Dirty, a dirty. All right, so I had some technical difficulties. I'm not used to having more than one camera, so uh, yeah, that's dirty. Uh, let's see, let's open this up so I can show you guys why exactly we're doing this. I, that's why. There's rust in there. And I feel like that rust has gotten down into my fuel pump. Now, this is going to make a huge mess. I know it is because oh. getting this guy off is just a pain. There are two guys that this goes to. And getting this guy I don't know. Getting this guy undone is a total pain in the ass. We'll have to deal with this. Okay, so I need to get these two off. And then I'm going to need some... Man. 
if I was filming, if I wasn't filming, this wouldn't be such a problem. But because I'm trying to film, I don't know. Try these guys. Because I'm trying to film this, it just feels like I'm not prepared. So I'm going to pull this bottom line. It really just is on there. Let me get an all a pick. I don't want that pick. I want this pick. Here we go. Sometimes it helps if you just get it. I, I know you, oh, there we go, oh, why are they both so much fuel, oh, came out really clean though, <laughs> shop towels, I forgot about that, oh, I should have remembered that. guy like blasts shit everywhere so I need a bolt or something to jam in there I think I used like this guy last time yes I've done this before I did try and prepare take off there probably not as there's a lot of stuff in the way we'll try though our disgusting gas tank is off Oh, we just pissed fuel everywhere. That sucks. <laughs> that was a disaster. Let's set this guy outside to get rinsed off, I guess. <laughs> Alright, guys. So, I don't think I did a very good job explaining what I'm doing. But basically, I just bought some little vacuum caps from... AutoZone, and i taken the fuel line off, and then I'm going to cap off the two little bungs at the bottom of the tank. I did kind of get confused. There's a small little bung, but I guess that's a vent, so it doesn't need to be capped off, but I did it anyways. That? Oh, that the blue one's probably going to be the best fit. Hopefully... These do their job. So we're going to have to drain the tank later. But that's not right now. Whoa! Woo! Here's some things that I could never get figured out. Number one, I could never get this guy off. I tried and I tried, and I could never do it. Oh, okay. Well, that was easy. We did it! <laughs> okay, so that clears up that mess. Ugh. Um, this is my fuel guy. You can just go off to the side. And that guy just came right off. That's not supposed to happen, but that is what just happened. All right. But with these guys out of the way, we should be able to push here and pull up. All right, sweet. Okay, so now it's these two tins, and I should be able to get that guy out. 
if I remember correctly, it's a pain in the ass. Like a real royal pain. I smell the varnish. Let's just get. All right, guys. Get it all so out. I'm struggling to get that fuel pump out, but I wanted to just kind of interrupt in here. I not sure mm. what happened, but my head camera stopped recording audio, so I apologize if the audio is out of sync. Because luckily, I have a redundancy. I have an external audio recorder. But without any audio, it's my wiring be harness is so up. So, anyways, if it's weird, that's why. There we go. Woo! Fuel pump is out. Now I did. Didn't I bring a bucket in? Nah. Yeah, if you think that looks gross. <laughs> Just wait till we open that thing up. It's it's nasty. Okay, and these are probably eights. Lock. I just want you to like hold. Not that long. For some reason, I thought they were longer. Okay, remember, remind me that I dumped this guy into the bucket. I just don't feel like jamming my hands in there right now. Okay, so we lose this guy. And there is... go. Yeah. Yeah. I'd say, um, oh, that smells so bad. I'd say This guy is just filled. You guys see that? I know, I probably see it. You see in there? Yeah. That's a lot of, that's a lot of nasty. just smells bad. That's disgusting. Like, I can scrape that out. Oh, I lost a gasket. Okay. That's just, that was why I'm not being able to do anything. You know? That's gross. Maybe I do need to just order a new pump. I do have some carburetor cleaner.
If I could only, if I could buy just one of these, I would. All right, so the carb cleaning, it's not a carb, it's a fuel pump. Fuel pump cleaning, it goes on for a while. I'm not gonna bore you guys with that. I'm just gonna skip ahead. Be gone, Rust. Remember when I put gloves on at the beginning of this? Then when I start messing with all the dangerous solvents and stuff, like I feel the skin in my hands just dying. I'm gonna call that pretty good. Um, I'll let that guy like sit in there for a while, and then. going to pull all right so i drained the tank the plugs. i edited a lot of it out and this fuel guy. came out pretty clean but when i shook the tank around i could feel you could hear like sediment in there which is basically what's obviously have up some fuel, fuel system right now in here still it's just not coming out But we are going to start the um, rust removal process. So I've got that plugged up. I'll let that guy sit there. And apple cider vinegar to the rescue. All right, so I sped this up. It's a, like almost a four gallon gas tank. I'm filling it up with apple cider vinegar. I'm gonna let that sit overnight. That should dissolve any of the rust that's in there. And tomorrow, today, as I'm editing it, I'm gonna empty everything out, clean out the tank, and put everything back together. Now, this isn't my first time doing this. I've done this with my KZ440 in the past and had really good luck, which is why I'm going with the apple cider vinegar again. It seems to be the easiest and most efficient way of doing it without damaging the metal at all. So this is part three where the audio got really bad, so I apologize. <laughs> Yo, I had to take a break. Uh, uh, yeah, so here's the deal. I've got the gas tank filled with about four gallons of apple cider vinegar. The... Fuel that came out, granted this was a dirty bucket, but kind of that loose stuff in there was what came out. She tells me that, like, the gas tank was probably clean-ish. I just didn't do a good job cleaning it out. And this little filter guy right here was pretty clogged up. So I have not been able to find this part right here um, for sale. The fuel filter, I assume, works fine, and I don't really want to replace this. So, call me crazy, but right now, I'm just going to kind of soak this guy. I've been soaking it. This is really, this is really ghetto. I've been soaking it in B12 chem tool, you know, just kind of suspended there. And I kind of like let them sit, pull them out, and then I take them over <laughs> to the uh, air gun and just blast it all out. Now before anyone tells me that this is retarded, trust me, I know it's retarded. Um, I know full and well that this is not the right way to do this. But if I knew where to get one of these guys, I would just order one. And I probably will. I probably will continue doing research, but I kind of want to be able to ride right now. So I'm going to keep this guy kind of suspended, just like that. Hopefully the hard particulates will... You know, sink out to the bottom, which is kind of what's been happening. And that's that guy. Then 
Yeah, I'm going to interrupt myself here. So, guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, I enjoy working on this kind of stuff. I'm going to end the video here because it is already at 20 minutes, which is a pretty long YouTube video. And I don't really, I'm still learning this video editing thing, so I got to take a break. Yeah, also, like, I haven't cleaned out the gas tank yet, so I need to get off my butt and go to the garage to start working on the gas tank. So, like and subscribe. I will come back. See you guys whenever I get this posted. All right, bye. But, yeah. So for today, that's all I've got. I'll come back tomorrow.